everybody, welcome back to the family channel. Hello. Hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we're going to be reacting to why no one wants to fight the A10 Warthog. Why do you think no one wants to fight the A10 Warthog? Because it's freaking awesome. It's a Warthog. <laughs> it's my favorite plane and I've decided to show the kids and Kat because uh, on the seven best planes, we only saw a little clip of yes. it. And this plane is freaking awesome. It was Garen, I've seen this yeah. one already. Okay. Yeah, it was number one. You saw a little bit of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Garen saw the thumbnail of the shark face. <laughs> and he he wanted to Leia missed I'm that really video. I'm really excited to see it. Yeah. But also, I'm but scared as of... you notice, Leia is in a game today. Yes, she's yes. here as usual. She said she's going to be here every day this week. And so far, you've made it three, three days. A yes. good job. No, yeah. No. So we're going to be checking this video out. But before we do, what's subscribe. The... Yeah. And like the video. And yeah. we also have a matching. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's check it out. <laughs> I'd be claustrophobic. Five reasons why no nation on earth wants to fight the A-10 Warthog in a war. I love that sound. I absolutely love it. I gotta play it again because I love it. What you probably that? hear it's the guns. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Listen. Yeah, listen. In a war. See the front? There's the one with the shark face. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! One simply does not mess Gosh. with the A-10 Thunderbolt and get away with it. Call her the A-10 Thunderbolt, or more affectionately, A-10 Warthog, but the US you know Air Force Close Warthog? Air Support... Because no. they say it's ugly. What? I don't think it's ugly, do you? No, no. What's I a mean, it, it looks a war, different. You, you don't know what a warthog is. I'm South African. They're from South Africa. It's that pig. You know, Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, okay, okay, Lion okay, King. Okay, Pumbaa's okay. a warthog. It looks different. Yeah, it doesn't look like the conventional, like... The F-22 or something, but I yeah, think it does look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adventure it looks awesome. We'll take a beating and still find a way to shower you with her low altitude armor piercing ammo. Why does he even shoot? At the nose. The yeah, see there? is one of the most revealing <laughs> pieces of a <laughs> on the mouth. Oh uh, yeah, but like it shoots it at the Ah, uh, that's by right the now. Yeah, that's, I think it's just a Is demo. that why the mouth is there? Now I'm thinking. Because those planes obviously go really fast. Yeah. Well, this isn't the so fastest one. So do the one. bullets fly faster than the plane? Well, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> this thing I, I just you. thought of that. I know, it's a bit silly. Just but. think, you, you start shooting with another plane, then you go right through You overtake them. your bullets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hit play. Equipment that our fighting men and women have at their disposal. And its track record proves it. The 30 millimeter GAU 8A cannon that sits on the front of the A-10 with its barrel protruding from the nose is one of the heaviest automatic cannons ever mounted on an aircraft. Since the pilots are protected by titanium armor, which also protects parts of the flight control system, the A-10 can linger longer in the battle zone in all kinds of conditions, including low visibility and darkness. The A-10 Thunderbolt has earned its reputation thanks to the bravery of her pilots and her performance above the battlefield. We're proud to give a little respect back to those who've served our great country mm -hmm. and share a few of the reasons why the A-10 Warthog is an aircraft that should never be taken lightly. Jeez, I would be sick. I don't think I could I would that. be sick. I've got such a weak stomach. But yeah. that's why I say these pilots are such badasses. Imagine yeah. getting into a, a dogfight. You know what a dogfight is when they're shooting at it, they're trying to shoot each other down the planes. Imagine oh, yeah. how much balls it takes just to have to do that. Yeah. And you're in the sky as well. Yeah. So if you get shot, oh man. Oh. Oh. You better hope your parachute opens. What? <laughs> Armament. I thought that was Armament. Look at all the bombs. Oh my. Here's the total uh, count. A 30 awesome. millimeter GAU 8A cannon, up to 16,000 pounds of mixed ordnance on eight underwing and three under fuselage cool. pylon stations, a 500 pound MK82 and 2,000 pound MK84 series low high drag bombs, incendiary. Look at that one. Uh, uh, I personally wouldn't do this. What is the bomb for? <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I was said that a few times as well. I'd be so. I'd be like. Yeah. Don't blow up. Don't yeah. Blow up. And next thing you know, you drop it and just. I think there's safety precautions. Yeah, I'm sure. I, and these guys are look, so trained. There's these nuts. Oh right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would stop that. Cluster bombs, effects munitions, mine dispensing munitions, 
an AGM-65 Maverick, and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, plus a Gatling gun that's specifically designed to fire high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds at a rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. 3,900 rounds per minute, but look how accurate that is. Look at the grouping. Watch how armor piercing watch depleted uranium rounds at a rate of 39. All in the same hole. Yeah. <laughs> like in the same. Like that's a group. Like that's insane. That's, uh, <laughs> the layers that's get a serious nervous. aircraft with a bad attitude. And you want to shoot at this bad beast? Good luck with that. <laughs> Good. I love that sound. Is there a person driving? No. Yeah, how come the car there? It's not. Two. Survivability. The A-10 has a honeycomb panel design that makes up the leading edges of the wing and tail, making them more resistant to battle damage. Interestingly, the front landing gear retracts under the wings while still sticking somewhat out of the fuselage, giving the Warthog a way to touch down with its landing gear up. This aircraft can survive multiple direct hits from armor piercing and high explosive projectiles while wow. it's so yeah. Did, you, I, hear, did I you hear what he said that it can land if it, even if it doesn't have its yes. landing gear uh, out? That's that's crazy. so crazy. But I don't get how they can do the flips. Like <laughs> even me on GTA when I'm playing. Like, I do the flips over the water and after my first flip I start going down and I crash right into the water. These guys are so trained, it's unbelievable. Uh, I'm so yeah. glad there's people out there who are brave enough to do this. Yeah, job. I would not be. Self sealing fuel cells are protected by internal and external foam. Like in no. 2003, when Captain uh, Kim Campbell successfully brought her Warthog back from a close air support mission near Baghdad, her 75th no. Fighter Squadron A-10 was hit by ground fire, taking extensive damage to the starboard vertical stabilizer. And she still made it back uh, without it's the damaged wing. Everything. Well. Look at all the bullet holes. That's wow. insane, eh? How and she, is that possible? And she flew back. Was hit by ground fire, taking extensive damage to the starboard oh vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, <laughs> aft fuselage, and engine. Upon sustaining the hit, the airplane became uncontrollable, rolling left, nose down. After trying several ways to regain control, she engaged the backup mechanical flight control system. The jet responded, and with hmm. some help from what? her wingman, she I landed back at her forward base. base. Well, I think that's part of the whole thing, isn't it? You've got to be willing to yes. fight to the end. And that's what she did. She's like, I'm not giving up. And, and she, I think it takes something special to stay calm. She's like, oh, let me try this actually. And then it works. Like, I'd be freaking out as well. I I'm, think I can imagine myself. I'd be there. pressing every button in there. <laughs> I'll be looking for the parachute. <laughs> Like, yeah, but where are you going to jump out to? You've yeah. just been shot at from the people yeah, below you. Yeah, you've just been shot at and they're going to start shooting at you. You've got to get out of there. That's yeah. insane. Next man. thing you know, you just start like clicking every button. So brave, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Imagine if you had that seat thing that blows I think you. They, I, I think they might have the ejector seat. Really? I don't know. I, I'm not sure though. What's it going to help you with though? Well, if the plane's going to blow up, you want to jump out with the ejector seat. Three. No? Yeah, but Rain. how is it going to save you? Rain. At around 2,580 miles, the Warthog's flight range could get you from New York City to Los Angeles, California. Thanks to two General Electric TF-34 GE-100 turbofan engines, the aircraft can achieve about 450 miles an hour, or Mach 0.75, making the Thunderbolt fast enough to be ultra-deadly. When I say that, when I say that, I mean in comparison to other fighter jets and planes, obviously. Yeah. That's still bloody quick, but... Four. Support. Oh. 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 Uh. The A-10 Warthog has immeasurable value to our U.S. troops on the ground and plays a critical role in our military strategy in the Middle East. Do the bombs, do they go where the person wants? Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's guarded ones and there's ones where they, they've obviously, they're aiming at uh, something. So, yeah. yeah. I was wondering about that. Like, If you listen, he's going to say how they support the troops. Uh. And around the world. Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego said, I'm glad we were able to keep this fleet fully operational and I will continue to fight to preserve this aircraft to ensure that the warfighter on the ground gets their air support. The A-10 was specifically designed for close air support <laughs> missions. It's large and varied ordnance, long loiter time it's above the battlefield, mm -hmm. accurate weapons delivery <laughs> and unfriendly field capability are more than well-developed to be at the forefront of the ground forces around it. 
As the U.S. Air Force says, the low-altitude safety and targeting enhancement upgrade provided computerized weapon aiming equipment, an autopilot, and a ground collision warning system, which includes multi-band communications, global positioning system, and inertial navigation systems, infrared and electronic mm -hmm. countermeasures against air-to-air -air and air-to-surface threats. In other words, try to shoot at our ground troops, and we will not only shoot back, but unleash hell on you exactly where you stand. Oh. Yeah, those planes. Look at that. Oh my. Okay. See, the clothes not that. That's got some holes in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That does not blow the Five. car up. Grit. It's not the movies, dude. Oh. <laughs> the cars don't just blow up all the time. <laughs> Look how cool they are. A-10 pilots have night vision capability to conduct night missions vision. during any hour I mean, after dark. The A-10 was probably. also designed with well, a fast maintenance Well, it's because of the altitude and the speed in that they're yeah, going. I think it gives oh. you extra oxygen. Yeah, it's also I, for communications as I've well. I've seen there were people going in the, like... With their faces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I <laughs> saw that. That's crazy, eh? Yeah, That's and how... their faces all look like that. <laughs> As G-Force and that, is Things like damaged wing skins that can be replaced in the field the, the cannon creating quieter. so much smoke while it's being fired that it looks like a forest fire and a gatling gun that fires rounds the size of beer bottles makes the warthog deserve Each of those its moniker rounds the bullets are the size of a beer bottle what <laughs> wait really <laughs> yeah that's what he's saying so that that when it's going that's all where like, does it fit in like it that? doesn't look that big yeah but if you look at where the pilot's sitting the rest of the space is just for mm. like bombs and stuff the cross of death Certainly the most important thing to remember is the pilots who fly these winged wonders and the ground crews that maintain them. Hmm. Our fighting men and women are the real ah, heroes and the A-10 Thunderbolt <gasps> is just oh, another yeah. tool oh, no, in the not. fight is for freedom yes, yeah. and a tool that works quite well, thank you. Contemporary Air Force F-15 oh, and yeah, F-16 yeah, cool. pilots like to joke that A-10s don't have instrument <laughs> panel clocks. They have Polly's calendars. Flying. At the time, the Air Force's high-tech fighter faction, which included most of Air Force leadership, Considered the twin-engined, straight-wing attack airplane an anachronistic Whoa. dud. Unfit to operate in the modern battlefield where it was supposed to kill Russian tanks. Whether you're talking about oh, a sophisticated is, stealth that, bomber done that or one, a that's a machine too. gun, it's never easy to it's bring a new warplane into being. That one uh, got ad suitability. YouTube sent me an email saying that it's not suitable for advertisers because it goes against their guidelines. So. Oh. Yeah, even though there was nothing graphic in there, was it? No. How the A-10 program survived oh, its them. first few Those years is a complicated awful. story. Former A-10 pilot and author Colonel Arden B. Dahl, retired, contends that the Thunderbolt II made it to production by prevailing in two so. key political battles. Yeah, they're not in there yet. Between the maneuverability and the survivability, the A-10 Fleet Fighter Squadron has taken on <laughs> Operation <laughs> just too much. Desert Storm and ISIS, Wherever they may be, I making it one of our best do weapons. No, I don't think no, so. No, it's just showing off, mate. Yeah. Like, look what I can do. The <laughs> oh my oh. gosh, these guys, man. But they're above the bloody clouds and they're just so calm and collected. I know, like, normal pilots who fly you from here to there on holiday, they're calm and collected as well, but they don't have. Well, I suppose they do in the sense of the plane. Yeah. But, I mean, these have got bombs and that. And these guys are just like, yeah. Yeah, they've got a chat with yeah. Them. Yeah. people. Yeah, only, got, only loads of people <laughs> and, and fuel. I think this is just they're showing the planes now. Look at them. I think they're awesome. They're awesome. I don't think they're ugly. Uh-uh. No, they look different. Yeah. But just because they but look But I look different. different. Am I ugly? Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> I would fill that helmet up. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I'd be like, where am I? Or then he's that tube that's going from oh. the neck. Ugh. Is it just me or don't they, didn't you sell, tell me that they see? They I don't know if like, it's the, look, there's refueling. Uh, yeah, so in I, the air. I, what is that thing? It's to refuel it. Yeah, but is that a plane? Or that's that another piece? plane. Ah, I, saw a lot, I saw a video like this on TikTok. Yeah, and then it refuels. How insane is that? Look at that. There you go, mate. That would be 250 pounds, please. Don't even have to pay for the fuel, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe they do that in the air. Yeah. And I can't believe they do it next to each other. What, what if you accidentally go the... Oh, look! Rainbow! I think it's just a tinting yeah. of a glass, like. <laughs> 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 you could, I'm glad that you find the beauty in uh, everything. I think those are like flares. I don't think those are... I'm not sure. 
But that's an, yeah. it's a cool plane though, isn't it's it? It's a cool plane. It's yeah. so I mean, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I like that. Mm-hmm. Is I it think just it, for one person? I think so, yeah. I think there's just a I thought like, I wouldn't mind to like try without the I think, swirling around. <laughs> but you can. I, I think you can go to some of those things where you can go up and... Really? Yeah, I'd like to go I'm in one. I'm scared of... I just wouldn't want to do the... I would probably just sit in it on the runway. <laughs> Yeah, can I just sit here, please? <laughs> okay, I'm getting out now. But I think they're freaking awesome. I want to see the like um, how they control it. Uh-huh. I want to. I want to hear the the the, the uh, chain gun yeah. or the Gatlin gun in real life. Yes. Obviously not when it's firing at me because then <laughs> I think by the time I hear it, it'll be too late. But just that sound, I love that sound. Yeah, just a whole big hole in, oh. into from. And you'll be like, that sound awesome. Oh, I love that sound. Anyway, guys, anyway. thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, what are we doing now? I've got to go help Garen with his project. Uh, Leia, I'm going to read my book. Oh, you finished your homework? I'm not going to school tomorrow. I'm going to watch... Uh, Netball. 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 Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Isn't it? All right, for some, eh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will see you in... Next video. Bye. Bye! Bye!